It's always good to keep backups of your personal files, just in case the originals ever get lost or damaged. The good news is that with Windows 10, you can do this automatically with the built-in File History tool. File History can back up all your files regularly in the background to another drive, like an external USB drive. And because it keeps the older versions of each file, you can go back to a previous one at an earlier point in time. Here's how to set it up. First, make sure the drive you want to store your backups on is connected to your PC and powered on, and that you can access it from File Explorer. Next, open the Start menu and click the Settings icon on the lower left. Then go to Update and Security, followed by Backup from the left-hand menu. You can also get to it by simply searching for Backup from Cortana, then selecting Backup Settings from the results. Once you've opened it, click Add a Drive on the right to search the available drives on your system. Then select the one you want to use for your backups. Once you've made your choice, file history will be turned on automatically with the default settings. So click More Options to customize them. You can also kick off a manual backup anytime by clicking the Backup Now button. By default, file history will backup your files silently in the background every hour, although you can change the frequency to as short as once every 10 minutes, all the way up to once a day. It'll also keep hold of your backups forever, which you can modify by choosing a shorter retention period if you prefer. In terms of content, file history will automatically back up all the folders listed here, which includes everything inside your personal folder and your OneDrive folder. This includes all your documents, pictures, music, and videos, as well as stuff like your browser favorites and desktop items. To exclude a folder from the backup, just select the one you want and hit Remove. To manually add a folder to the backup, click Add a Folder and browse to the one you'd like to include, then click Choose this folder to add it to the backup. For more options, scroll down toward the bottom. From here, you can manually exclude specific folders, which we saw a moment ago, as well as switch to a different backup drive if your existing one's running out of space. Note that you'll still be able to restore files from your old backup drive if you need to. You can also view Advanced Backup Settings, which opens up the Control Panel version of file history that was included in Windows 8. This includes the same options we've seen already, but also has a few additional ones, which you can access from the advanced settings on the upper left. For example, if your backup drive's running out of space, you can use the link on the right to clean up older versions of your backups before switching to another drive. Use the drop-down list to remove the backups older than a certain age if you no longer need them. You can also view File History's event logs to keep track of any errors, which is useful for troubleshooting any backup issues. If you modify any advanced settings, Click Save Changes below to apply them, otherwise hit Cancel. And that's all there is to it. File History will now back up your files automatically in the background according to the schedule you've set. Note that the first backup may take a while depending on the amount of data to back up. After that, all subsequent backups will be a lot faster, as they'll only copy the files that have changed since the last one. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll show you how to restore your files should you ever need to recover your data.